New tonight, it's been almost a year since the PAC Act was signed into law, promising sick veterans and their families health care and compensation. Washington, D.C. correspondent Hannah Brandt tells us now a critical deadline is approaching for veterans who want to apply for those benefits. Brendan, leaders say the PACT Act has the potential to help millions of veterans, but this week they're facing an important deadline. Desert Storm veteran Tim Hauser says he developed life-threatening health issues because of exposure to toxic burn pits. Then he spent decades fighting for military health benefits. The day that we got the letter saying that my claim was finally approved, my wife looked at me and says, yeah, your fight's not over, is it? I says, no, this can't happen to no other veteran. Last August, Hauser and other advocates finally got what they'd been pushing for. Congress passed the PACT Act, promising health care coverage for veterans exposed to toxins. The veterans that are actually taking advantage of this bill has changed their life so much. VA spokesman Terrence Hayes tells me since then, they've given out more than $1.4 billion in benefits. But that's just a start. We've only received about 800,000 claims thus far, and this potentially impacts more than 4 million people. There's an important deadline coming up. Impacted veterans have to apply by August 9th in order to get benefits backdated from when the PACT Act became law. That's 12 months worth of monetary benefits to many families. That makes a huge difference. Hayes also wants those who were rejected before to apply again because he says the PACT Act changed things. It simplifies the process for veterans. So in the past, the burden of proof was on the veteran, but no longer is that the case. Tim Hauser says the PACT Act has given so many veterans like him hope for the future. Finally somewhere somebody actually cares and we're actually going to get the help that we need. That right there is huge because now I know when I pass on, my family's going to be taken care of. In order to get those backdated benefits, veterans have to file a claim or submit an intent to file by this Wednesday. They can do that at VA.gov. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt. Count on two.